And you know what that means. Well, it means I probably need to get on that haircut thing that everybody else seems to be doing now. And uh, yeah, the dye would probably be not a bad idea at this point, but at least it looks better when it's wet. And I just realized that. Welcome to a Saturday edition of Sip and Snack. And this is a long awaited edition, something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Ever since last year, I found out of the existence of this product. I've been searching for it. I finally found it, the original variation in a bottle. The diet variation I've been searching and searching and searching for, I couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Then I walked into one of the Publix around here and I certainly found immediately this in can formation instead of in a bottle. So it's not gonna look the same as it's gonna be like this instead of like this, but that's okay. Because finally here on the Podcast Network and on Sip and Snack, we're gonna be doing Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda. Now this is a 20 ounce bottle and it's 240 calories with no fat and no protein, 95 milligrams of sodium, 66 grams of total carbohydrates, 65 grams of total sugars, including 65 grams of added sugars. And yeah, I've been wanting to try this for a while. I've heard lots of things about it. I've heard it's got that familiar 23 flavors cherry taste. Thank you to uh, bestproducts.com for that. And I've also heard from a lot of Universal fans that it tastes a little bit like butterbeer. So I'm curious what it's actually going to taste like. So we've taken this off. Got the nondescript taster glass and the water. Which I totally did the intro with the water instead of the taster glass. But that's okay. So we're going to look at it and we're going to smell what it smells like. It smells like butterbeer. It actually does. The cream soda probably is going to make this taste different than what I'm used to. So we're going to try it. Side here. Looks like that. So you got that familiar Dr. Pepper smell. Got the, the cream soda. Like, can't really tell you what an aftertaste would sm smell like. But I'm going to guess that's what it would smell like. Because that's... I do smell the vanilla in here. The cream soda variation of the Dr. Pepper. I'm very curious to see what this is going to taste like. I can see what they mean. It tastes like butterbeer because it does. It's like if butterbeer was given the same like aftertaste of Dr. Pepper. Let me try a little bit more like this. Because when you savor it, you savor more and taste more like a vanilla Dr. Pepper. But if you smell it and then drink it right afterwards, it's it's very much tasting like a regular butterbeer, which is interesting because I didn't think it would have that taste. Let's try it, see what it tastes like. Let me put it to the side. It's good. I enjoy it. I'll get more. I'll try it out of the bottle here. It's not as prevalent with the taste of the cream soda when you drink it out of the bottle than it is when you drink it out of the glass. I know that's strange, but it's just how it works, I guess. Not to be outdone, of course, they have a diet variation. This took forever to find. That's the reason why I have it in a can instead of a bottle. No calories, zero sugar, and it has no fat, 60 milligrams of sodium, no carbohydrates, and no protein. It's got a whole bunch of nope in here. I want to see what it tastes like, so we're going to pop it open. Doesn't really have much of a smell to it. At least not right now. Let's pour this in. Oh, that looks good. Take that to the side here. Looks like that. It's definitely Diet Dr. Pepper. Like a Diet Vanilla Dr. Pepper. It doesn't really taste anything like butterbeer. The regular variation does. The diet variation does not. 
Like I hear that rain outside, it means the, the, my walk is not gonna happen anytime soon. It's like a Diet Dr. Pepper. And I don't really take, Diet Dr. Pepper vanilla is basically what it is. It's not bad. Yeah, it's a little bit more of an understated taste, actually, when you drink it with the diet variation versus the regular one. They're both good for different reasons. If you want to find a kind of like a butterbeer taste like, you've been to Universal before, or you're a big Harry Potter fan and you wanted to try a little bit of butterbeer, this is something that's very close to what you would normally have. And, of course, the diet variation is really good, too. So, yeah, I definitely would recommend these. Let me try to open this. Oh, there we go. So that's going to be your video for this sip and snack. And uh, we're going to do more sip and snacks in the near future. I've got a lot of cookies coming in the near future. Uh, a lot of people were wondering if I was ever going to get to the Chips Ahoy variations. Yup, they're coming. And they're coming sooner rather than you think. And uh, we've also got um, Sprite with ginger. I tried to find the zero variation. I may have to just bite the bullet on that. That's not going to happen. And a bunch of sips, a bunch of snacks still coming. Ashley's snack stashes are still coming. Tons of AJ content now that him and, and Chris are using Zoom to do the Versus videos. Those are going to come out like gangbusters. And of course, tomorrow night or Sunday night, depending on when you're watching this, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the weekly wrap-up. Ashley and myself talking all things AEW. And of course, we're also going to be talking about the WWE NXT, as well as Impact and all points in between, plus UFC now that we have that to uh Take ratings away from AEW. So that's going to be your show for today. I recommend both of these for different reasons. So uh, if you like these videos, then tell your friends about them. Leave a comment. Do subscribe. Help spread the word about Popcast Network. And you can follow me on Twitter at Sero and Disney. If you have any ideas for Sip and Snack or Versus any other regular segments on this network, feel free to shoot me an email, Disney at gmail.com. So in the meantime, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that.